definitely conversation piece and any guy who has a cool man cave would love to have this. So you don't think that's real? I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this is fake. I know you are a great hustler, I know. Because we've been doing I mean, this together for so long, you know? Hey guys, Peter over here. So today we gonna start off a video with opening up the package and it's from Brian in Arizona. Brian, I'm excited. I'm excited oh, to see what it is. I wanna be gentle. Right. This is looks to me like a sign. I think that it's it's not obviously an outer, but what's cool about it, it's signed Crystal Lake, Illinois, August 18, 1941. So it's been a minute for this book to be around, you know, but that's that's in very good shape for being almost hundred years old now, you know. Well not quite yet, but um Brian, Brian and Christy no, nose pickers, the nose pickers. So cool, I really appreciate you guys. And if you ever make it out this way, please stop by and say hello. Let's get into today's video. Right, so yep. original seat from the historic Chicago Stadium, home of the Chicago Black Hops. Lane. So before, for the United Center, before it went down, you know, I had like bricks from there. I had part of the parquet floor, mm -hmm. you know, when they played, the, the Bulls played on it. Um, yeah, it's definitely conversation piece, and any guy who has a cool man cave would love mm -hmm. to have this. I wish they put it on a plaque that it's like both Chicago yeah. Bulls and uh -huh. Blackhawks, you know? But maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe because when they play... See, I, I was at the old stadium once. <laughs> and when you have the hockey ring, it's always bigger than the basketball ring. So maybe that's why it made yeah. a difference. What are you looking to get out of this? I mean, it's a cool piece. It's just... What's the price on it? I, uh, I don't know. To, to we be, have no idea. We have no idea. That's the thing. Okay. I um, I got in a storage unit. So I really... What does it say here? Remember what? Remember the... The roar. Remember the roar. Roar. Okay. Why else would you make the joke? And this are the original probably screws yep. from the number that was on it, right? Yeah. Whatever the seat number you had. All right. Give me a second. Yep. I'm gonna do a little bit of research, see if I can find something, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, no problem. So, okay. Okay, we'll wander. These couple of numbers that I see here, that there's one right now listed. Somebody did make some kind of cute-looking legs for it, so it's more stable. Same era, same seat. Asking three sixty-nine on eBay. There's one here that sold. It was on auction, sold for two ninety-nine, so about three hundred bucks. So I'm seeing between three to probably three fifty. It all depends on the condition. And this one overall is, is decent. I mean, the paint job that they did back in the day. It was like probably every few years they just slapped some paint on it. You know? Can you imagine sitting on this for three, four hours watching a game? So. Uh, it is Chicago type, so it will probably sell relatively quickly here. Um, I usually offer about half what I see what they go for. So if you guys are comfortable with like 150 bucks, I can do that. If not, I think I will then pass. You know, it's it's you want totally a call. You want to do it? I'll do it. Okay, that was a quick. Should have said a hundred. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> no, no, that, that's fine. I think I, it is a cool piece. Yeah. It's a conversation piece. I get a lot of man cave stuff, as you guys seen in the back room. So a lot of guys come in and buy things like that here. So yeah, like I said, I, I found it in a storage unit. Yeah, awesome. But, so yeah, yeah, I'll take. It. I do need your ID. I'll write yeah. you up really quick. Yeah. Huh? Heavy. Oh, not really. Not too bad. Maybe yeah. maybe twenty at that. I don't think so. I don't think it's twenty pounds. 
All right, 150 bucks. Right. Thank you very much, Thank guys. You. Appreciate Thank it. You. Have Thank a good you. one. So you guys just saw me purchase this Chicago Bulls slash Blackhawks chair that came out out of uh, United Center, old United Center Stadium in Chicago before it was demolished. I can't imagine to sit on this chair for three to four hours to watch the game. It's so uncomfortable. Now, you know, this stadium was built like in late 1920s and, and, and it stood for almost, you know, 80 years and they really never upgraded anything in there. But it's an awesome piece. Like if you love Chicago Bulls, especially, you know, the Air Jordan era when Chicago Bulls was winning the championship after championship. This is definitely part of history and any guy that has a cool man cave would love to have this. I got to go there one time to Chicago uh, Stadium when they were playing, I believe, for their third championship. And I couldn't even get the tickets to sit on these. I had standing room only, way on top. And everybody looked like this big. Uh, but I got to see MJ play in his uh, one of his uh, finals when they were winning the third championship. So this is definitely a cool piece of history. How quickly is going to sell? I don't know. I, I put 350 bucks on it. I gave him buck 50 for it. I might have to sit on it for a little bit to double my money, but I think I think this is really, really cool piece. Love it. I was on the fence about this, but I'm curious now. Okay. Okay. I think I'll do better this time. So it's this one is clearly Mark 14, but I will test it because all like on the clasps, all the gold worn off. So I, I definitely have to test that one to, uh, to double check. Okay. Right, I think this might be the way it looks. It might be 18 karat gold. It's okay. so shiny, which is good. When it's shiny like this, it tells me that it's a higher carat. Please be careful with that. <laughs> the herringbone is very fragile. I think that one's 24. So it's zero markings. And to be honest with you, there's no such jewelry that it's made in 24 karat gold. Oh. 22 would be usually the highest that comes from India or Pakistan. Oh. Uh, and the reason for it is because when you make the jewelry out of 24 karat gold, it's so soft that it would completely bend on you. Earrings, rings, chains, as soon as you touch it, it's so soft, you know? So I it? actually will test this piece. It doesn't have any markings anywhere. Um, but to be honest with you, I don't think this is even real gold. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. This is the one I've treasured all these years. I thought that was real. So, and the only way for me to determine, I have to make a little etching to it somewhere at the end to make sure that it's actually gold. By looking at it, I see completely discoloration on a chain. I see lots of uh, green growing on it that tells me there's some other metal underneath. Is that just a solder maybe? Or? No, no. So you don't think that's real? I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this is fake. But I can definitely test it just to make sure if you want me to. Mm, I paid a lot of money for this. And, uh, and oh I'll, let me show you something first giveaway. See the chain, how it has the loop here and then the clasp here, right? Mm. And then the little loop that holds them together. I can open that with my fingers take it off. When it's a gold piece, it usually will be welded. That way you can't lose it. I can just go like this and take it off. That tells me that's a first giveaway that this is not a gold piece. No real jeweler would put a ring like that with, without putting a little bit of gold solder on it to make sure it stays in place. So that's why I'm saying it's that this coloration is there. Uh, it's a plated piece. It's not gold. No markings. Everything about it screams to me that it's not gold. So now, on the other hand, this little piece right here, the cross, I will test it too, but it looks like an 18 karat. Okay. And this, it's so worn off that it's Mark 14K, but I will test just to make sure, test, you know? Test. So, okay. Thank you. Thank you.
for telling me that. <laughs> oh. Sorry to be bad news, but oh, you know. Oh man, this was a long time ago, like 20 years ago, I paid like 200 bucks for this. <laughs> oh man. That one hurts. <gasps> oh my god. This chain. Just like I thought, the one that it's showing that the gold is coming off of it. Now I don't know if you can tell now, but there's a discoloration that happened here when I touched it with the acid. Some other metal is coming from the bottom. So that's that's not a real piece either. Now we got a little bit of uh, hope here left in that cross that I'm thinking that it's 18. So this is 100% real 18 karat gold. All right. I was really hoping that one was. I was uh, not sure about these. Yeah. So I was convinced they were, but no oil. It's not a heavy piece, it's only two grams, you know, but it is 18 carats, so I'll tell you in a second what it's worth. And trust me, don't feel bad. Half of the people come in, they think they have a gold piece. A lot of times it's not. Uh, the plating is done so good these days, you know, it's been done good for many years, that it's a lot of times hard to tell, you know, I so. Bought, yeah, I bought them a long time ago and I never wear them. So I can do $61 on the letter cross, that's all I can do. There's hardly any weight to it, you know, so that's the thing. It is 18 though, so. All right, well. So you tell me what you want to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. You want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for. Sorry, I don't, I mean, otherwise yeah. you would have had quite a bit here, but. That's what I was this, thinking. You know? <laughs> that's what uh, I was thinking. All right, I do need your idea, I'll write you. Let me, okay. Happens all the time when it comes to the gold. So I want to show you guys something really cool here. This was given to me as a gift and done. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. This is a sketch done with pencil by the artist called Lehman or Lyman uh, back in 1970s. This is one of the base in Ephraim in Door County. That's where my cabin is gonna be. Uh, actually my town is called Bailey's Harbor this is on the other side of the peninsula but like literally five minutes from me Don gave this to me because his wife recently passed away and he thought this would just absolutely fit in with the decor in my cabin after I build and uh, he says that this is something that she would want me to have. So Don, I really, really appreciate it. A very cool piece. I'm gonna try to do a little bit more research on this artist. I did something, uh, quick search quickly and I couldn't find anything, but I think I will reframe this to put it in a little bit more modern frame, but the actual uh, pencil sketch is, is fantastic. And this is supposed to be right across from uh, uh, Wilson's, I think. Wilson's uh, ice cream and burger place, which makes sense when you go there. It looks exactly like this There's a pier up front. There's a bay. There's mountains behind it. So very very cool piece. Thanks again, Don I really appreciate it. I don't know she says. I don't know yeah. Oh, I got something else and you gotta I, I, Well, yeah, okay Okay I guess this is just a carrying box for like a specialty tools and stuff like that. Oh, it is? Yeah, see? Okay. You can put a bunch of tools and stuff. It's got a lock on it too, combination lock. Wow. Well, I was right. I just don't know if I mm. I want this though. Oh, and then I got, um, I got? done some research on this. You've and, done um, some research. You never do research. Well, maybe. This special item that you got here. What is yeah. this? Jay Garcia, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a fanny pack. Mm -hmm. It's clean, it's in good condition. And my husband said that he looked it up online and he said it's worth. How much? $3? Mm -mm. 30? Like 250 or something. Really? I don't know. Okay. But it's, it, it, it's, there's, there, it's Made in Korea. Well, let me look this up to see if I can confirm what your husband thinks. I mean, it is a, it is is a it, good name. Hold on. Let, let, let me let me confer with my husband. You said one is one is asking one forty nine. One is somebody's asking one forty nine. Okay. And one. And is also one says ne never sold to the public. I don't know what that means. You obviously have one, so the, I don't know the, what that the, the, means. You have to get through it. Get through a Jerry Garcia fan club or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. 
you need you, you said you need to pay some bills, huh? I need to pay the gas, get get my gas turned back on. That's my biggest issue right now. Okay. So what do you need? Once one one is somebody's asking one fifty, the other one somebody's asking two fifty. So we're I'm asking you what do you what, need? What do you need to pay how much is the bill? Um you want me to find out from him what, what, what we need. How much to, is the bill? I'll help let you me out. Find out. Let me see. Oh, it is turned off. It was turned off yesterday. I've been out yeah. with gas for over 24 hours, so use the microwave. Thank God it's uh, summertime. we it's got the summertime. air running. Yeah. If it was winter, I'd be screwed. <laughs> it would not be good. Even if I give you, you know, if, even if this bag is going for 150 250 that doesn't even come close to getting your... Well, you know? I don't know. It's, you know what? You got a business to run, and I got to try and take care of my my yeah. husband and my family. So this is what so, I. This so is what, what, at least something that I can do for you that will help. I mean, obviously it will not no, you restore can't, you can't. your gas here, but well, maybe it take maybe it takes care of some of the other bills. Okay. So, you I tell me. What would you like to get? I'd like to get one hundred and fifty dollars, but that's. Okay. But but that's I I, 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 I got I got to be fair to you 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 run a business I've been business too with you for a long time for a long you're, time you're you're fair you're a good person you're a good man you know I uh I will I will help you I'll give you the hundred fifty bucks okay? okay and even if I don't make anything on it I'm okay with it I just want to help you so that's why I keep yeah. asking what do you yeah. need okay yeah I so mean I've, is, is that work is that yeah, help you and, out a little and, bit and, yeah and 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 you know me I mean after I'm done here if I have if I have other stuff at home I sell and I keep I know we done pick, so much business over the years I know the, I know you are a great hustler I know because we've been doing I mean, this together the, for so long the, you know? I, mean, you, I know it won't solve this bill because no. this is you know way over thousand dollars but at least you can cover maybe some other bill so 120 40 150 like you want it okay great and uh, make it work somehow I can't thank you enough I mean okay. I, I if I can if I can find something else that I can you I know we'll do more business <sighs> I know we won't do more business. You're good, honey. You, you're good I girl. Will I will take know. care. And as usual, before we end the video, time for the cards, the postcards. 239, 240, 241, 242, 43, 244, 245. What are you doing? No biting. 46. Love this one. 247. <laughs> 248. That's it, guys, for today. I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.